All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is another example of some of the versatility that you can find inside of EVC2. Now, this first example is uh, kind of whack because I just wanted to see what would happen. So what I did was I drew this frame, let it render out, slid it across the screen, and then sketched an item next to it. But you see, the problem that I'm having here is the hand. The hand is still there. So let me play the whole scene so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I brought in a regular slide. Everybody knows this slide and has it in their package. You know, um, the problem is, is that the slide draws and then the animation has to complete before the next command, which means that hand is going to stay there. So if I wanted to sketch her without the hand, I would have to sketch without hand. Then I can sketch this guy with the hand just to show that um, that kind of thing works. And uh, the whole point of it was just to show that um, you don't have to sketch this coming in, but you can bring a slide in, let it play, right? And what I did, I stopped it before it got to the very end because what happens is with this slide, everything just flies out. She goes out to the left and then the, uh, the text bubble goes to the right, but I stopped her prior to sliding out, moved the whole slide over, which revealed this white background and then drew this guy in. The only point to this is just showing you that it can be done. So if you have slides and you like portions of them, you can stop them in certain places. Or what I could have done, I could have just let this slide play, right? Let her go off the screen and then draw, uh, let this guy. So let me, let me see if I can, uh, well, I'm not going to change this. I need this for another demo. So let me move over to here and show you that even though it, uh, it, pains me and I'm conflicted to say this uh, it is possible to create presentations without slides and being a slide creator that takes uh, cash out of my pocket but I'm here to try to give you the real deal so that's what I'm talking about now this sequence you're about to see here is where well, it does use a slide this is a, just a plain old graphic right and then what I do is I bring a character in so I fly her in here she's just a character she walks in and zooms in because I want to put a lower third under her okay and so then there's the lower third this is one of my arctic lower thirds right there with the picture inside and everything else and then what happens is after that uh, plays for a while you get this upgrade today the lower third is still there when I run the sequence and then it begins a transition now just a quick note I'm not gonna go into it deep because I do have some transition videos but the way transitions work if you notice, this is one scene because the black bars indicate the separation between scenes. That's a scene. This is a scene. This is a scene, right? So if you want to do transitions, and I make my transitions SWF so I can control them better, but you can use video. On the last frame, I mean, on the last, um, yeah, on the last frame of the scene, which is really not a frame, it's just the, uh, I have to, I have to, I'm lost for words at this point, sorry. Uh, but you put your video, the first part of your video in, the transition, the first part of transition here, and then the second part of transition goes there. So when I run this, it's going to transition from what's happening here to what's happening here. And what I did here was I just rendered out this video, and then I put a video on top of it. Because the whole point of doing this was to make a space so that I could put video or text in this area. So let me run this scene for you. Flies out there, and then the lower third comes out, boom. And uh, this will accept a uh, picture, uh, not video yet. I'm gonna put a video in there. And uh, then there's the upgrade today. Now during all that pause, a video was gonna be playing here. And then there's the transition. Now the incoming it ends the transition. Now this is a video I made of her and now I fly the video in so that it occupies that time. So now I can do more than one thing at a time and she's still moving her mouth and moving her eyes and everything else. And then that upgrade thing is going to come up behind it. Um, what I didn't do with this was I, I could have timed this video so that it either slid out the way or dissolved or something before the upgrade thing came in. But again, 
I was testing these and trying to get my timing worked out. So that's why uh, not more than that is happening. But I just wanted to show people what can be done. So if I go in here, What you can see is, see, see her there? See, this is where I start her and then I bring her, I, you know, blow her up and bring it up and everything else and place her here. So she just, like she's flying in the screen. I, I use 12 seconds of animation to do that. So she comes in here in 12 seconds and stands there. Okay. Then I move on to the lower third which the box you see outlined is the lower third it's just hidden because remember it slides in so you're not seeing it just yet and then of course here's the upgrade today upgrade today actually starts here right above the lower third and then comes up here in one second or 24 frames all right so that's basically what this is all about and then in here what you're looking at here is the first part of the uh, transition and as it plays you know, you'll see it but right now it's hidden because it starts off with a blank frame this one doesn't it starts off with the full coverage because this is the second part of the ending of the transition and this is going to transition out right and it's going to reveal the video that's up under it and this is that video that slides in it starts off screen then boom comes in in 10 frames which is uh, just shy of a half a second and it plays there now I could have set this up at another point so that this thing dissolves before my upgrade notice comes in but I just haven't gotten that far I just wanted to just put this out here so you can see some of the tricks now the as far as the transitions are concerned I do have a set of those um, that are already broken up already have beginning and ending and there are 35 of them so look for the um, trans 1 set because I have a trans 1 and a trans 2 um, I have some transitions that are really not broken in half they're just overlays so if you had this going on here you could have another transition that just overlays the whole screen in whatever color and then you can start typing on that or fly another video in or whatever but all of this is really with the exception of this lower third there are no other slides being used and this lower third was a slide with a white background what I did opened it up as a slide went to the um, outline section and you know the very first outline is the background so I turned that off BAM here I am so let me run the whole project and please forgive me for this first part because it's really not all that there she is hi <laughs> <laughs> okay so now slide on out Barbara now if you notice that little movement that's because I didn't set the register of the frame properly what you have to do to make that pause if you're gonna move it you have to stack them okay now here she comes waving in off the screen there's my lower third popped in now this will be the time when the video will show up in this spot but this is the original uh, scene I used to create the video that you'll see after the transition but I just wanted you to see how the whole thing goes together. See my upgrade today? It started off here, rolls up. Now here's the transition. You won't see that buffering assets when it's a video. But there we go again. Now this is the video of it. This is not really the, uh, the sequence. But this is a, a video I flew on top. Rendered this part out first. Brought into the second scene. And put this on top of it. So that you have some interaction. Um, those there are some people that are asking about well, why can't we have two and three objects moving at the same time the reason is this application is not multi threaded now flash and other animation programs which are like you know this is written in Adobe Air so it's, it doesn't have multi threading incorporated in it as it stands but when multi threading comes out then that will give you the ability to move a couple of items so you could have two parts of a heart come together in the screen and then it could maybe beat or something but right now everything happens one after the other so in order for me to do what I did here I had to take this scene render it out as a video and then stick it under this one and add stuff on top of it um, there's been a couple of um, 
couple of people, Curtin and another beautiful woman out there who has done this. Uh, she's using pictures of her husband to demonstrate how you can create the video and then lay stuff on top of that and everything. And that's the, really the only way to do it now. You know, create create your the main part of your scene. I I, I say the bed of the scene, and then add st bring it back in and add stuff on top of it. That's what the point of this thing here is. Create video from the scene. So what I did, I went over here, create a video from the scene, came over here, brought that video in, and then added my additional effects to it. So so that's all I wanted to just tell you about this thing here, just so you can get an idea that you can do a lot on your own. Uh, this this is a picture uh, right out of the library and then you see I got my girl there and then she comes in on the next one and then this is where the lower third appears although you can't see it right now and this is where this text comes in the screen it starts here flies up for 24 frames and this is where if you can see the, the trailing edge of it this is where the uh, transition begins this is a whole new scene. Now when you're doing transitions and you wanna cover the screen here and come out here with something different, that's why you're using two different scenes because each scene can have a video up under it. Now the trick is if you want this transition to happen with a video up under it, you have to put the video in the scene. So you wanna come, this scene is selected. You wanna come over here to scene and here's where you'd put that video because what's going to remember everything happens one after the other right so if you put um this transition in and then you want to put the video after it the transition will happen over a white screen then the video will pop in what you want is you want the transition to happen so that you see the thing as one fluid movement and then when it when this one is done it uncovers the next picture or video so in order to do that it has to be underneath now what you can do is you can just wipe to another background video and then start putting stuff on top which is what I did here but the video underneath I'm using is actually the rendered scene from from here just to show you how to combine those two hopefully that's clear as mud and hopefully you like to play in the mud because uh, there's a lot of fun here it's really just about timing and getting used to things and I plan to make some videos for each function so that if you don't know how to do transitions I'm gonna have a transition only video I'm gonna have a green screen only video I'm gonna have a SWS animation only video uh, and I'm gonna have a slide video that shows you how to bring in slides there were some people complaining about well they wanted to be able to create a new slide and just have it say new sketch scene or new slide right well you don't need to really do that because when you do a new sketch scene you come into this window it would normally be blank so new sketch scene blank window right you want a slide come down here add explain the old slide or you can add an SWF you know so you can add one of those characters there was a package of characters that came out you may want to add one of those and then um, uh, put that in here or you can just go and look at the standard slides that you are normally used to using and just pick whatever slide uh, work for you. Now see that's how the transition looks when it's rendered. These are slides actually for one. So if you have explained your one and you want to do a transition, this is how you do that. Alright, just wanted to show you just what's going on on the inside and I'll be back in my next video. Mm -hmm.